Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today we're going to take a look at another Kickstarter watch that I've received in. Before we get started though guys, just a couple quick house cleaning items. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I would pick a date that I was going to do that drawing to win one of my watches and I finally have sat down and picked a date to do that. That's going to be March 31st, 2018. Um, on that day, we're going to do a couple of things. We'll do the drawing to see who's going to win one of my watches, but also we're going to do something else that uh, you guys have been asking me for. And we're going to take a look at uh, just a quick overview of my watch collection as it currently stands. And then what I'll likely do is, given the fact that my current collection changes so regularly, um, we'll probably come back every you know, every three to four months and just do a quick update on what's in my collection at that time and make that a regular part of the channel so you guys can see my trading patterns and how many watches I keep and what I'm actually keeping, what watches stick around the whole nine yards with that. Second thing, uh, watch of the day for me is the Arctic Silver Renegade that you guys saw me review yesterday from their Kickstarter campaign. So Kickstarter campaign release video yesterday. Today we're going to look at another Kickstarter watch. I figured what the hell, why don't we make it a Kickstarter weekend and tomorrow and Monday will be two other Kickstarter watches that I've recently received in. But today, today what we're going to take a look at is the Zurich Trappist 1 Moon Phase from Zurich Watches. So let's take a closer look at this Zurich watch that I received in from the recent Kickstarter campaign. If you guys aren't familiar with Zurich watches, I actually have had one before. I had the Zurich Evergraph that I received as a part of their previous Kickstarter campaign. But let's tear into this Trappist one and see what we get. Right out of the gate, you see they have just a very plain cardboard box that it comes in. And in the box, you receive a Zurich warranty card which tells a little bit about their warranty and as well as directs you to their website to find out uh, more and read the instruction manual. But this is why we're here. This is the Zurich Trappist 1 Moon Phase and I opted for the gunmetal red version. You can see uh, the case on this guy is gunmetal color and then there's red in the strap as well as on the dial. If we want to take a walk around this watch a little bit before we get into it too much, this is a black leather strap with red stitching. Now the straps on these watches, because this watch uh, obviously has that space motif to it or space design to it, um, this watch was designed after or inspired by NASA's discovery of the Trappist-1 solar system, so they tried to keep this watch very space oriented. So the straps on this watch were modeled after the textured space gloves that astronauts use when traveling into outer space. You see kind of that pillowy pattern right there. If we look on the back of this, these straps do have quick release tabs and you will see um, right there if I can get it in focus for you guys. You can see their logos on the strap itself. Zurich logo right there. This watch actually runs with a Ronda Caliber 708 movement with moon phase and day indicator. Now we'll get into how to read this watch here in just a second, um, but as I mentioned, it does run on the Ronda Caliber 708 movement. The dial functions have super loom on the planetary hours minutes, the North Star, which is a 12 hour indicator, and the Star Trail displays are all super loom. One cool thing about this, and it's going to be kind of hard to see, I'll see if I can get some close up pictures of it at the end. But right here at the six o'clock position, you see that uh, round area in the grill. Uh, that is actually a magnified date indicator at the six o'clock position. The case is 316L stainless steel with a domed space tested Hesalite crystal. Now I don't know anything about Hesalite or what it is, but 
this this watch does have a pretty decent dome on it and that's kind of why you're seeing the lighting in my room pretty badly because of that dome the size of this watch is 44 millimeters wide and 16 millimeters thick so it's a good size watch uh, looks like it's going to be really really comfortable to wear this watch has a five atm uh, water resistance and as i mentioned u.s horween leather for these uh, space glove textured straps so let's get this guy set back up for you and we will take a look at how you actually read this watch um, one of the th reasons i got rid of the xeric evergraft before is because of just how it fit on my hand I don't think I'm going to run into the same issue with this watch. This watch looks a little bit more comfortable. So on this watch, you have a couple different size, we'll call it planets for lack of a better term. Right here you have the smaller one, currently up near the 12 o'clock position, and then you have the larger planet, we'll call it, at the 3 o'clock position. Now this larger planet at the 3 o'clock position currently um, hovers or rotates right around this inner circle that is the hour indicator this guy right here at the 12 o'clock position that is the minute indicator so you'll see at the end of the video um i'll do a speed up of this watch actually working and you'll be actually actually be able to see those move now those are on what appear to be translucent discs with the additional uh, you can see all these stars all over the all over the dial here. Those move as well and kind of give it the approach of a whole solar system moving throughout the night. Now, in the center of the dial here, we you can see the moon. We also have the North Star right here. This dial moves and gives us the phases of the sun and the moon throughout the day, which I think that's a really, really neat concept. And then right down here at the 6 o'clock position, if I can get a better angle on it, you can see right there, the six o'clock position, that is the magnified date indicator. Now, one of the things that I had to look at when I first got this watch was the loom on it. And I've got to tell you, the loom, this watch in the dark looks out of this world for lack of a better term. All right, guys, so that was the Zurich Trappist One Moon Phase that I received in from the Zurich Watches Kickstarter campaign. Absolutely, guys, I encourage you to stick around and take a look at the close-up pictures on this watch. Really, really, really out there design, really neat design in my opinion. Um, I have a feeling that this one is going to stay in my collection a little bit longer than the Zurich uh, Evergraph did, uh, just because I like the concept, I like the design of this one a lot more. But definitely stick around and uh, take a look at the close-up pictures of this as well as some of the loom shots of this Zurich Trappist 1. If you guys have any questions about this watch or any questions in general, you can post them up in the comments below or reach out to me at the website at mywatchedition.com. Finally, if you guys want to see what's on my wrist on a daily basis, you can follow us on Instagram at instagram watchaddiction.us. Thank you guys and have a great week.